if somebody disrespects you and if you let that shit slide, you need to check yourself. You love me. You say you do, but you can also hurt me. You can also lie to me. You could also try to manipulate me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could also try to use me even though you love me. You disrespect I didn't me. get that. Could you try again? Oh my gosh, why is Siri popping up? I do not like this Siri stuff at all. It's, it's actually creepy. When I was in that relationship, I was so blind. I was so fucking blind. Like, you know how, like, shit could be going wrong and shit, but you just like, oh, I love him, oh, da da da. Baby, you should get to know me. Tevin into that good energy. I have not been in the mood to record. I don't know what it's been, I don't know what it is, but I really just haven't really been in the mood to be sitting down doing a little smoke sesh you know and just talking to you i don't know but i was like let me just turn this camera on and just redo this video and let me just tell y'all what i where's my lighter oh it's probably all clear okay y'all so let's get up into this video right now let's spark and let's get up into this video i'm not even supposed to be smoking right now because i'm trying to get another job I really wanted to just touch up on let me fix this camera let me get real comfortable but what i really really wanted to touch up on was to not just let people take advantage of you you know what i'm saying because <clears throat> i have such a good heart i have such a, a loving caring heart i'm always so quick to give like if i love you i'm always gonna be so quick to give <clears throat> but i feel like certain people take advantage of that and i feel like that is exactly what my ex did i really 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 do i feel like he's seen that okay sweet loving girl okay but, but when he didn't have it, he was always asking me for stuff. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I didn't even respect him at all. Like, there was no type of respect in that relationship. I didn't respect him. He didn't respect me because if he did, he wouldn't have been doing me so fucked up. But I didn't respect him because... I was the one that was always paying for stuff like I really couldn't be my feminine self I couldn't even have the feminine energy I'm not even going to say that I couldn't because I could have but I wasn't thinking the way that I'm thinking now back then I wasn't thinking that way but yeah y'all so I just feel like he really just took advantage of the fact that I have such a nice sweet caring heart and i'm so quick to give anybody that i love and i have gotten a lot better with it i feel like i feel like i've definitely <coughs> sorry i feel like i definitely gotten a lot better um with that i definitely did hold up because i feel like my voice is But yeah, I feel like I definitely did and stuff. Um, and another thing, people test you. People test you first before they fully disrespect you. They might say something, you might not catch it. You know what I'm saying? But it was disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Or they might say something. And you'll catch it, but you won't say anything about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. If somebody disrespects you, always say something about it. I feel like. Because who the fuck are you to even be saying what the fuck you saying to me? Type shit. But yeah, I feel like he definitely tested what I would allow him to do. 
to where now I keep shit out and I'm not letting I'm not letting nobody do that to me. I let nobody do that to me at all. Cause everybody test would have out. Everybody like to check the temperature. However y'all want to say it. I say the water out. A lot of people say the temperature. Uh, a lot of people do that. Everybody do that. Everybody does. But if you don't nip it in the butt. If you don't be like whoa what. And you don't even got to be disrespectful about it. You really could just you know keep it classy. Like hey you know. What you said was disrespectful. You probably thought that it went over my head, but it didn't go over my head. But don't talk to me like that again because I caught that shit. And I'm going to keep on catching shit. Like, type shit. Like, you really could keep it cute and classy. You don't even got to spare a thought or nothing. But I definitely feel like a lot of people test the temperatures out. They really, really do. And the way that you react to... The way that you react to shit tells people a lot. It tells people what they need to know in order to take advantage of you, in order to manipulate you. Just anything. Like, people are out here crazy, like, for real. But also, I also wanted to talk about how he's seen something in me that I didn't see in myself yet which means he's seen that he could take advantage of me he's seen that he could manipulate me he's seen that he could be disrespectful I didn't get that could you try again oh my gosh why is Siri popping up I do not like this Siri stuff at all it's, it's actually creepy okay but yeah what did he see in me to disrespect me and what did he see in me to where he seen that he could keep on doing it over and over again is this theory coming on here again oh no it's not hold up y'all okay but yeah like what did he what did he see he saw something <laughs> y'all i promise you you know how when you in a toxic relationship can't nobody tell you nothing couldn't nobody tell me nothing there were so many red flags so many signs family was telling me stuff friends were telling me stuff just people were just telling me shit about this person and i was not listening and i should have listened um Damn, I just was going to say it. They really did not do my nails good. They really, really did. I just felt like he saw something. And y'all, uh, when I was in that relationship, I was so blind. I was so fucking blind. Like, you know how, like, shit could be going wrong and shit, but you just like, oh, I love him, oh, da-da-da. Like, and you just be letting just certain shit just slide you let a lot of shit slide to where when you find finally get out of that situation it's like whoa hold up what the fuck he saw that i was this he seen that i was this he saw that i was all of this shit and i didn't even see it in myself yet so i definitely had to check my ass <laughs> for sure <clears throat> I definitely had to check myself because you was seeing that in me. I didn't even see that in myself. So why wasn't I paying attention to myself a lot? You know what I'm saying? I feel like now I really, really do pay attention to myself. I feel like I question myself, which is okay. It really is because sometimes you really got to sit back and check yourself and be like okay i reacted like this 
why did I do that? Why did I react like that? Or I need to stop being like this and be more like this. I need to start to love myself more. I'm not doing that right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's when I, that's when I say that I check myself on a lot of shit now. Back then, I wasn't doing that shit. Back then, it was always, why are you doing this? Da, 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 da. And I didn't even see what I was doing wrong in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Because I was doing some wrong shit too because I wasn't loving myself and that's wrong. You know what I mean? So y'all, I'm just saying that check yourself. If somebody disrespects you and if you let that shit slide, you need to check yourself. You need to be like, okay, why didn't I say this? Or why, why didn't I speak up for myself? You know what I'm saying? And y'all, growing up, me, I was shy. I was nervous. I used to stutter. Okay? When I started growing, you know, chest and stuff. I might even want to say titties. But when I started to grow my chest out and stuff, y'all, I would wear, like, big sweaters and stuff to, like, cover it up. Because I didn't want people looking at me and stuff. But I'm just saying that to say that I was such a shy, quiet person. And I used to stutter dad. And growing up, I never really used to stick up for myself. But if anybody tried, my sister, my mom, brother, anybody, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sticking up for you. Like, <laughs> sticking up for you. Like, I'm ready to fight somebody behind you type shit. But for some reason, when it came to me, it was like I was just, I was always quiet and stuff like that. And I don't know why. I was just always like the shy, nervous, you know, person. I used to stutter and stuff. But if anybody tried my family, it was, it was done. It was like done for. But I definitely feel like I was quiet in that, in that, relationship a lot i really really do like even though i knew that it was wrong and stuff like that i still feel like i still was you know just my quiet self now i y'all i'm surprised myself i grew so much i really really did mentally the way that i think the 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 way that i look at myself now the way that I love myself the way that I look in the mirror and I'm telling myself I'm gorgeous I'm so pretty like come on now come on now I did not used to do that shit when I was younger but yeah don't let no body disrespect you nobody don't don't let nobody try you always stay in your ground if somebody is doing some shit that you don't like that you don't agree with and they moving real funny and real shifty speak up about that shit check they ass about that shit and you don't even got to do it you know like so loud or nothing but like you really could pull somebody to the side and say hey look what you said, I felt like that was really disrespectful and I felt like you was trying me. Please do not do that again because the next time it happens, I'm not going to be too nice about that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just feel like I just was really, really, I wasn't seeing my worth and stuff. Always know your worth. Always. Don't let no nigga be out here doing you fucked up no like what what like what is that who's doing that like what 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 no <laughs> don't don't let nobody do that to you but also y'all i feel like i actually would always get hurt mainly because i would always think oh that's my family they wouldn't do that to me or they wouldn't say that to me or they wouldn't even say that about me because they my family or they my friend or 
that's my man so they're not even finna cross me and do nothing like like that to me because they love me love don't got shit to do with that shit it really really don't like and i feel like that is exactly where i got hurt the most because i was always thinking that now i don't think like that i don't think like that no more like i'm on a genre okay you love me, you say you do, but you can also hurt me, you can also lie to me, you could also try to manipulate me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could also try to use me even though you love me. Like, now that's how I'm thinking, that's how I'm looking at shit, and I'm so glad that I do, because the Iman back then was so naive to certain shit, y'all. I was so like oh they love me so they not gonna do that to me i love them so i will never do that to them just because you won't do some shit to somebody don't mean that they not finna do that shit back to you like it really really don't and i'm saying that again <laughs> just because you feel like you ain't finna go do that to that person or say that about that person or act a certain way about that person don't mean that they gonna do the same don't nobody got you like you got you like and that's some real shit but i'm just telling y'all what i've learned from being in that toxic place and i just really really wanted to just analyze my my last video because i really wanted to you know like just speak on it a little bit more because as I was editing it and stuff, I was like, wow, I really came a long way. I really think that I should analyze this, this video. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to just do it. But yeah, y'all, like, uh-uh. Remember that. <laughs> People test the temperature out. They really, really do. And the moment that you let shit slide the moment that you let certain shit slide yo people be wanting to take advantage of you do this do that like and i have such a good pure heart and i gave so much i gave so much y'all to where now it's like i'll like give but i'm not finna let it empty me I seen this um, tweet and it was like, give, but don't keep on giving until you're empty or something. <laughs> I think I'm going to put it up here or something. But yeah, and I was like, yo, like that's some real shit. I used to always give and give and give and give and give and give and give until I was empty and I ain't have nothing. Sometimes I would give and I would be flat out as broke, like damn how am i going to pay my uh, phone bill like damn how am i going to pay this and do this like damn how am i even going to get some pads i'm i'm just being honest like i used to always give i used to always put everybody before me i used to put so many people before myself to where i'm not doing that anymore and i feel like a lot of people don't like that now so that might be where I am losing a lot of people or I'm falling back from certain people because of how much I used to give and they were just always okay with it. I don't know, but I'm rambling. <laughs> but that was it, y'all. Um, remember that you just shit with a bag of chips and whatever else you want to put on the side. Oh, also the giveaway winners are Bly. Um, for her near hair blight and then the other one was mary rose i'm um, for her name right here y'all really 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 was showing out but when i say showing out i mean y'all was really going back on old videos um liking commenting i was like okay i see y'all like y'all was commenting on old old videos like every every day then there and i was like okay i see them i'm about to put this out but i was like okay i see y'all and stuff but but 
thank y'all for the support and y'all i have another surprise coming up definitely do i'm really excited about it um i had started it today i'm really excited to take you guys on that journey with me as well but let me oh, excuse me but let me just talk about excuse me um this these other giveaways that i'm going to do the next giveaway that i'm going to do is going to be in december and that giveaway is going to be a christmas giveaway mm. i'm thinking about um doing 200 dollar giveaway in december um I might give away $200 to one person or I might give away, you know, 100 100 But I really want to start to pick guys as my winners because I'm always pick, picking girls and stuff. But <laughs> that's it, y'all. Just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that you're the shit, whatever that shits and whatever else you want to put on the inside. I'm about to go take a shower. And I'm in such a good mood right now. I feel like I just let out certain shit yeah here I, no here i come hold up but yeah like <laughs> another thing why was i letting him do certain shit to me why was i letting this person get away with so much stuff why was i even letting this person talk the way that they did to me um treat me like i wasn't seen you know what i'm saying like why and that is when i say that we have to check ourselves that is when i say that shit because that's a problem that's a problem check yourself man start asking yourself questions like why did i let this shit go on for so long why like me i like i'm a scorpio <laughs> I think that I say that um I'm a Scorpio and probably like most of my videos but y'all I really really wanted to be a psychiatrist I really really did um I love reading I love knowing the why of a situation you know what I'm saying like I just I love to get to the root of certain stuff like i really really do i do that with friends i do that with um family i do that with my relationship i'm always asking okay so why or like yeah why why do you feel that 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 way why do you feel like i just disrespected you you know what i'm saying and then when they give me an answer then i'm gonna ask another why question but I just love the why aspect of any situation. Oh, but yeah, guys, I think I really just got some shit off my chest. But I need to take it off. And that is exactly why I love sitting down, doing smoke sessions, talking to you guys about certain shit. You know, just certain stuff that I've been through. And... I'm giving you guys some advice, so hopefully y'all don't make the same mistakes that I did. But I'm about to go take a shower.